Hi, I'm Gina Keeley, the founder of the Paige Elizabeth Keeley Foundation. The video that you just saw was my daughter, Paige Elizabeth. Paige lost her life at age six to an unknown, undetected brain AVM. Paige was at school eating lunch and complained of a headache. She started screaming and crying, immediately went to the nurse's office. The headache got worse. Paige vomited, she went unresponsive, and started seizing. A few short hours later, after being rushed to the hospital, Paige lost her life, and that is when we found out that she had an AVM in her brain that had ruptured. And we also found out that if it was detected earlier, it was operable, and Paige would be here today. So I'm very happy and proud to be partnered with Dr. Kimon Bacalis of the Stroke and Brain Aneurysm Center of Long Island, where we are here to raise awareness, offer free screenings, and we're going to fight for early detection. And hopefully, another parent won't have to go through what we have gone through. And I'm very proud to and happy to introduce you now to Dr. Kimon Bacalis. I'm Dr. Kimon Bacalis. I'm the director of the Stroke and Brain Aneurysm Center of Long Island. An arteriovenous malformation is an abnormal connection between an artery and a vein. In simple terms, it's when a high-pressure system is dumping blood in a low-pressure system, putting a lot of pressure on it, and that can result in too much pressure and eventually bleeding. Now, bleeding can be life-threatening, or it can result in significant disability. Most arteriovenous malformations are congenital, which means you're born with them. And over time, they can change to the point that can result in bleeding. So this is a disease that is... Uh, nobody's immune from, from it. Children, adults, everybody's exposed to this disease. Now, we all need to understand the signs and symptoms of a possible arteriovenous malformation. If you're experiencing headaches that are out of control, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, pain behind the eye, or double vision, that can mean that you have an arteriovenous malformation. Now, if an arteriovenous malformation ruptures, symptoms can be a lot more severe. Uh, people can be unresponsive. The headache can be a lot more intense, and weakness, uh, speech difficulties, and generalized seizures can even develop. We need to be very attentive of the size and symptoms of an arteriovenous malformation and seek immediate medical attention if that were to happen. There is no way of knowing whether you have a brain aneurysm or an arteriovenous malformation. Here at the Stroke and Brain Aneurysm Center of Long Island, we have developed a screening tool through which we can select patients who are more likely to have these diseases and screen them subsequently with definitive imaging that can actually then allow us to treat these patients before a catastrophic event occurs. We're happy to partner with the Keeley Foundation for Pediatric Arteriovenous Malformations to help spread awareness for this rare disease and help our local community. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. The Stroke and Brain Aneurysm Center is here to address any of your questions and concerns. Please take advantage of our free screening opportunity so that what happened to my family doesn't have to happen to yours. Thank you.